And good morning. We're out here for a very particular shot, one of our dream shots. We want to get some red tail foxes dancing in the snow. So we came out in this winter wonderland. It's awesome. Um, but yeah, red tail foxes will come up to each other and stand up on their hind legs and do a fox dance, they call it. So we're really hoping to get lucky and see some fox dancing today and get some good photos and video. So that's what we're out here for. It's 20 degrees, foot of snow, but it's going to be worth it. Um, we bought a hunting blind on Amazon so we can get closer to the foxes. I'm going to link it below. Uh, I think it's this way. Yeah, I'm going to link it below. It's only like $50 and you can get in it like a little tent. It's camouflage so the animals won't see us. But we'll see if we get lucky and get any foxes. Alright, so we found some fellow fox photographer, wildlife photographers out here with their big cannon lenses. <laughs> Look at that bad boy. He's got a 1DX Mark II. Yep. Thrown on here right now on a 500 millimeter lens. Nice. And it's not working. There's no card in there. Oh. Okay, so this is as noisy as mine is. <laughs> He's going to show us the motor drive on this 1DX Mark II. Dave's got silent mode. Go that wasn't silent. That wasn't silent? Hold on. Oh. I'll hit it. Let's hear that. Okay, listen you probably can't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> I just got 500 pictures of snow. I know. <laughs> Well, good thing, good thing this is digital. Maybe a snowflake fell. So. <laughs> I have nothing on this card, so I will just. Oh yeah, jump it. I'm shooting on the Sony A6500 because it can shoot burst mode with 11 frames per second, so I can get some foxes running. And I'm using the Sony 70 to 200, but on the crop sensor, you times it by 1.6, so it's a 320 millimeter reach. Um, so I can get as close as I possibly can to those foxes without breaking the bank, getting a big 1 to 400 lens. Um, I'm using a monopod. You can see these guys have uh, their tripod set up. You can do either or. I like to do monopod because it's easier to move around on the fly if you need to go find a new spot. But they said they haven't had much luck. Only two foxes have come by. So we're going to hang out here for a while and see if we can see any. dancing foxes but we did get jumping foxes um, but we did meet my dad's old buddy Kent Kent Keller. Kent Keller he shoots a lot of wild horses in the Utah desert he's got a lot of awesome photos of horses fighting and up on their hind legs and you should check him out on Facebook Kent Keller um, but yeah him and his buddy were those two photographers with the uh, Canon cameras and the big huge lenses. That's one reason why I like mirrorless better is the same focal point um, lens will be less than half the size of those big huge Canon lenses because let's show you this. He had one that wasn't even an 800 that one we we're looking at and look at the difference. This goes to 800 millimeters and it's tiny. So it's a lot easier to lug around and go on hikes with and stuff. So if you're thinking about switching, maybe think about that. But yeah, I'll throw the photos in 
Make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Did you see the foxes today? We did. Oh, 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 oh,